Hey, Shalom family, Most High in Christ, bless Officer Yehoshua, IUIC, Virginia. We got boots on the ground in Roanoke, Virginia. We're on the west side of the state. This is uncharted territory, untapped ground. All right, we breaking ground. This is day two. All right, we did St. Patrick's Day Parade earlier today on day two. Now we live at camp. The first camp spot in Roanoke is established as of today. All right, the word is going out strong. We had brothers called a hotline. They came out the camp. The camp is building up. It's starting to get hot. All right, so we're going to go check out Captain Yawanathan. He's bringing out the word strong. All praises to the Most High. All God's laws have a have a practical knowledge and and benefit for us to keep his children to keep right matter of fact hold that go back to Duke Genesis 25 right remember the inception I'm not sure if you was up here you was here but we went over where both of us came from and he, he went over the the so-called white man because this ain't about the white man black it's not about that it's about God's laws and restoring our people back to who they are that's what it's about and we got to talk about certain things which make our people uncomfortable, which make our people uncomfortable. We got to talk about certain things just to understand who we are and what's going on with us, right? right. So let watch this. I'm going to walk you through it. The book of Deuteronomy. I'm sorry. The book of Genesis, chapter 25 and verse 23. And the Lord said unto her, two nations are in thy womb. So two nations are, or nationalities are in thy womb. Two nations are in thy womb, right? This is the womb of this is the womb of Rebecca, Isaac's wife, right? So she was she conceived twins. Watch this. And two manner of people shall be separated from thy bones. So it say two nations, and in case you was confused, it say those two nations shall be separated from thy bowels. Now a baby separated, or they live together. Sometimes they're in the same crib together. They raised in the same house together. They raised by the same parents. They raised by. So what does it mean? Two nations, two nationalities are in your womb, and two people will be separated from thy boss. What does that mean? That mean that the two two babies are not going to be the same people. They are two completely different races of people. That's right. Watch this. And the one people and one people shall be stronger than the other people. So one people going to be stronger than the other people. What people is stronger than the other people? Real quick, Romans 3. Romans 3. What people is stronger than the... Let me ask you this. What people dunk on everybody? When you think of dunking, when you think of dunking, who you think about? Like somebody dunked the rock hard, like... Go hard. Who you think about? First, first name come to mind. Yeah, basketball. LeBron. Who is that? That's our people, right? Just correct me when I'm wrong. You feel me? You say LeBron, right? That's who automatically come to mind, right? When you think of who can take the football and do a hundred yard touchdown, who you think of? First name to come to mind, or just give me his race if you don't know, because I don't know the names neither, bro. But but who, who the first people to come to mind? Odell, our people all day. So we the stronger people, and the whole world knows it. That's old. That's common. Not that's common sense. We dominate all sports leagues. We the strongest people in the world. Right. Who could who could this happen to? Who could this happen to? And it not annihilate the entire race. Who else could go through this and come out like on the other side of it more in number than when we went in? Who could do that? Nobody could. We the stronger people. Watch this. The book of Romans, chapter 3 and verse 1. What advantage then hath the Jew? So how are the Jews better? Because we the Jews. We're going to get to that. And I want you to doubt what I'm saying. So we can prove it. I want you not to take the word at a man's mouth. Because we can get it out the Bible. We can get out of God's word. Watch this. So it says, what advantage have the Jews? What advantage then have the Jews? Meaning over everybody else. Come on. 
Or what profit is there of circumcision? Or what profit is there of our culture? Our culture was the covenant of circumcision. We get into that. Watch this. Much every way. Say much what? Every way. Much in every way. Who invented everything? Who invented these traffic lights? Who invented the lawnmower? Who invented the, the cotton jig? Who invented these medicines from the, from the herbs that come out of the ground? Our people did. That's right. Our people did. That's right. The devil created drugs and dope that make you more sick than what you than, than the reason why you took it to begin with. It's called the pharmaceutical industry. The devil made that. The other nations came up with that, but we came up with things that actually heal the body. Uh, 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 what's his name? Um, uh, say it again. Doctor Sabi. All those people. He ain't the only one. It's a bunch of us like that that understand and, 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 and deal in medicines, how to fix ourselves. We are that people. We the people that's greater than everybody else. Watch this. Much every way, chiefly because that unto them were committed the oracles of God. But the main reason is because God gave us his covenant. Remember we talked about that covenant of circumcision, right? Go back to where we was. So it said one people, one, it's gonna be two babies, two different people. One of them going to be stronger than the other one. Though. One of them going to be stronger than the other one. And remember, they're going to be separated as soon as they come out. Watch this. The book of Genesis, chapter 25 and verse 23. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels, and the other people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. So now the elder shall serve the younger. So what we gonna read is when they came out, the so the red child with hair that's hairy all over, right? Who's red and hairy all over in the world today? Can I say it again? That's the, right. the young brother, you hear him? Who we say? The white people, you agree? Okay, that's who red and hairy all over, right? Like a hairy garment. You take a razor from them, it's a wrap. They gonna look like an animal. Right? And not to not to demean, but just to make clarity out of the Bible. Right? So it's saying the one people gonna be stronger than the other people, and the one people gonna rule over the other, or the one one of them gonna serve the other one. Right? So let's see who came out. Who's the oldest and who's the youngest? And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, time to have the babies, behold, there were twins in her womb. Just like God told her. Two different people in your womb. It's twins. Back then they ain't had ultrasounds and all that. So you had to find either God told you or you just found out the day that you gave birth. Right? right? Watch this. And the first came out red. And the first, the first, who's the first? The older or the younger? The oldest. The first came out what? Came out red. All over like in hairy garment. Came out red and hairy. All over. All over, right? Watch this. And they called his name Esau. And they called his name Esau. So who you call or consider or understand today as the so-called white man is actually Esau in the Bible. Right. He's actually Esau in the Bible. That's who he is. So now when you read in the Bible, you can see with, with open eyes. You can read it and understand who's God saying, this is who God is talking about for this judgment. This is who God is talking about did this. This is who the God is talking about X, Y, and Z. And you also will begin to understand who you are in the Bible. Because you don't think you have any place. Hold on, listen to me, listen. I don't want you to dap me up yet. But listen, listen, listen to me, listen to me. Watch this. So remember we said that we talked about the covenant of circumcision. What profited the Jew? Much in every way, chiefly, that were committed unto us, the oracles of God, right? So what makes us stronger than the other people? I haven't forgot, because you, you asked, What's the point of not being able to heat something up on the Sabbath, right? Right. What was the question again? So, what makes us stronger than all the other people? Is it being able to dunk on them, do a 100-yard touchdown? Yeah. We stronger, we run faster, all that. Does that make us better? Huh? No, it don't. It don't. You know what makes us better? That's one thing, but that goes that, that, that goes into something. Because we can say that, but none of us understand how to stick together, right? Some of us say, like, are you, you, like if I got a wife and you don't got one, you say, I want his wife. She'd be, I got to have that. I'm going I'm to take his wife. I'm Mr. Steal Your Girl today. 
right? That's how we do. But we all say we need to come together. We need to unify, right? So what makes us greater than all other people is the oracles of God were committed to us. Amos 3 and 1. They were committed to us. Meaning God gave us, he established his rule and dominance on this earth with the so-called black man. That's right. And it wasn't just because we can touch, make a touchdown, just because we can dunk a football, just because we can push some weight, just because we can box, just because we can fight. No, 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 no. Just because we can stand in the sun, is more to it than that. Right. It's more to it than that. Watch this. The book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 1. Bring it out. Hear this word that the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. So even when we read here, we're being punished as a father will punish his child. It's a lot of babies and kids up and down the street, right? But how many are you dealing with? You just, well, you got any kids? You got one on the way. So if you let's say all the kids on the block acting up, right? What you gonna do? Okay, now let's say all the kids and your child acting up on the block. What you gonna do? Huh? Who getting the whooping? <laughs> you understand? So this is what the Most High is talking about right here. He say only you. I only know you. So I'm gonna punish you for your iniquities. Now remember, what makes us better, what makes us more powerful, is that God dealt with us as sons. Now when you have a son, who's going to raise him? Who's going to teach him? You say who? You say you going to do it, right? So what do we think about, what do we think God did when he made us? He just turned his back and walked off? Huh? Deal with another uh, another nation. Okay, they, they, they all right. I'm gonna go. Ahead. What did he do when he when he made us? What did he do? He gave us laws. Man. Come on, say that. Come here, man. Come here, brother. He gave us laws. He gave us laws. Just like you gonna give your baby laws when he born. Just like that. If he create matter of fact, let me ask you this: Who told these trees to grow that way? And then when they get a certain age, sprout some leaves and start. To, who told them to do that? Yeah. So there was a creator. He created all these things, and then he told her what to do. He told her what to do. You walked up kind of late, but he went to a scripture at Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. These are things that we don't even consider, so we don't know what to do. But this is our heritage. This is our culture, not religion. Religion was taken in, 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 in out of this Bible to keep you confused. Right. Go to Sirach chapter 23, verse 24. I'm going to show you this our heritage. Ain't no uh, African, no, all that's nonsense. That's why ain't nobody mad when you teach that. But we all know what, what was, we all know what the world think about what we saying right now. We the real Jews. We all know what the world think about that. It ain't no problem until you start speaking that. That must mean that's some true. Must must be must be tapping on something when you say something like that, right? Watch this. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 24 and verse 23. All these things are the book of the covenant of the Most High God. Now remember, we spoke about that covenant. Remember, he said, "We'll make us better." What make us better was that God gave us the covenant of circumcision, meaning His laws and how to repent. You get it wrong. Stop doing it, keep his laws, repent. We have that covenant with our father, right? So they were given, and only us. Now we were given these things, and only us were given these things. Watch this. Even the law. Even what? Even the law. So the law was that covenant that was given to us. Watch this. Which Moses commanded for inheritance. Uh oh, for what? Inheritance. For inheritance. It's never been a religion. That's what other people get their hands on our book, and they say, "I want to be a. Pro I want them promises that them, that them chosen people got. I want them. Pro I want that. I want to live forever like them people got. I want to be who God says is chosen. Right. I want to be able to manipulate people's minds with this book. Yeah. I want to be able to enslave people with this book. So let me see where I can fit in and how I can use this book to do that. But this book has always been our record book. This has always been our history book. This has always been our heritage. Now let's say some of us don't know what color the Jews were, what race. We talked about two nations, There's many nations in the Bible, namely 18, right? God created 18 nations. That's all that exists on this earth. 
Never mind all the lies and all that. Man don't create nations. God do. Right. God do. Right? It's only 18 on the planet today. They go on by lying names and titles, but it's only 18 of them. Right? Watch this. Let me show you something. Jeremiah 14. Watch this. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 2. Uh -huh. Judah mourning. It's like Judah mourning, meaning Judah is sad. Judah going through hell. Watch this. And the gates thereof languish. And the gates thereof languish. Meaning the leaders are weak of our people. Weak. That's what languish mean. They ain't strong. That's why our leaders are who? Comedians. Uh, uh, ball, football players. Basketball players. Entertainers. They jokes. They jokes. Employed by the same person pushing the lie. Right. They got your whole race confused now. Right. That's who our leaders are, and God say they language, they weak. Even the ones calling themselves pastors, are they teaching you how you came here on ships? Are they teaching you where you at in the Bible? What your name is in the Bible? What your heritage is in the Bible? No. Some strange dudes out in purple and gold on the corner is talking about some stuff out of a Bible. We we standing here wondering if they Bible a funny Bible or something. <laughs> No, it's the same Bible we always had. You just never been told the truth out of it. Watch this. Verse 2. Judah of Mordeth and the gates thereof language. They are black. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. They what? Now, Judah is where the term Jew comes from. Judah is the Jews. He said they what? They are black. Say they black. They black to what? Unto the ground. Unto the ground. What color is the ground? Not the grass, brother. The ground. Brown. Before Esau devised all this pavement and all this type of stuff right here, right? Which we ain't going to get into as deep to and evil. Before all of this stuff was created and devised, right? What was under it? Dirt. That's the ground that the Bible was talking about. He ain't talking about this nonsense Esau, the white man created. He talking about the ground that he created. The real ground, right? Watch this. Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7. And the Lord God for a man of the dust of the ground. So God for a man of the dust of the ground. Remember we just read Judah, Judah mourned and the gates thereof language. They, they, they are black unto the ground. Now we're reading about Adam, the first man God created, also created from the ground. So what color was Adam? Brown. Adam was what you would call today in 2024 a Negro. That's right. <laughs> a black man. Yeah. Just like the rest of the apostles, the prophets, the leaders, the heroes of this book. These are things that you've never been taught and been in front of you all your life. All your life. What is nature? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Oh!